G'day guys, Dana here from Good Arm Australia. Well today I'm just doing a quick little video on uh, price comparison on when you get down to the entry you know, level thermal uh, device. Um, we get a lot of people ringing up, um, they've, they don't own a thermal, they've never owned a thermal, they've never actually looked through a thermal, but for whatever reason they can't justify spending three, four, five thousand dollars so they immediately look and target the entry level thermal device which is generally a monocular so the first question they generally ask is what are they like well that's a pretty complicated question to to answer because everyone's got their own different expectations on what they're expecting or what they need and also everyone's got their own different hunting styles and strategies so <clears throat> what we're doing today is we're just going to give one example out of many many out there because there's so many different makes and model of uh, thermal devices out there for sale today uh, we're just going to do one example on what you get for what you spend so i've got two devices here uh, they're both hick micro products they're both from the lynx family one's the le 15s the other is a LH19 2.0 series. So the LE15S, it retails for $1,149 and the LH19 retails for $1,979. So there's you know, pretty much you know, eight or $900 difference uh, in, in each device. Uh, we're not comparing devices because they've got two totally different uh, resolutions and sensors and naturally the LH19 being a deer monocular with a better sensors and resolution, it will be the better option. But that's not what this is uh, about today. This is about showing people the image quality out of each device at different distances and what it can offer that person for them then to decide, okay, the $1,100 device, I can work with that um, it'll it'll give me an advantage on what I'm currently doing when I'm going out hunting or they're going to turn around and say no nah, I want something a little bit better I'm going to save me money up and spend that extra and um, or, or even over and above uh, the LH19 so what we're going to do guys we're just going to um, set up different distance points um, probably four or five and we're just going to um, set both devices on the exact same landscape um, so seeing the exact same animal and all that I haven't got a lot out there today the, the cattle are, that I normally um, sort of look at uh, they're way out the back so um, yeah we'll, uh, we'll just scan some horses and, and that, are, that are around the paddock and hopefully it's going to give uh, them guys a bit of a helping hand on um, what they're going to get if they decide to, to buy one of these two two devices so just a quick thing uh just a, a bit of information on each device uh the le15s it's got a resolution of 256 by 192 so it is quite low uh, it's got a 35 millikelvin sensor in it it's got a 2.2 time space magnification with a field of view at 20 meters uh, it's also got an uh, internal battery, so these guys has have not got an external battery where you can pull out of the device and put on charge. The LH19 2.0, it's got a resolution of th uh, 384 by 288. It's got a uh, the new updated being the the 2.0 uh, 20 millikelvin sensor. Uh, it's got a base mag of 1.8 times and it's got a field of view of uh, 24 meters at 100 but these guys do have the ex uh, external battery which you do receive two in the box uh, with a charger so all right guys we'll um i'll set up some distance points and um post the image up and uh hope you like it
product guys well that wraps it up for me um, so if anyone wishes to get any more detail on either of these devices don't hesitate to contact us um, we're on Facebook and Instagram and we do have a website www.goodunaustralia.com.au all of our um, devices are, are on our website so you can jump on and have a look um, and also our contact details so uh, don't hesitate to give us a call um, happy to have a chat um, even if it's just general information all right hope you've enjoyed the video guys and we'll see you next time